You know, people always talk about procrastination like it's a bad thing. But honestly, I think we've been too harsh. Procrastination, it's an art form. Think about it. When else do you get to pretend you're extremely productive by doing literally everything except the thing you be doing? I mean, I didn't clean my apartment for weeks, but suddenly, when I had a deadline, I became Martha Stewart. I folded towels I didn't even know I owned. It's like I'm giving my tasks time to marinate. You can't rush greatness, right? That's why I tell myself I'm not lazy. I'm just on a strategic pause. Sure, I've been strategically pausing for six hours, but it's all about timing. I'm basically a time management guru for tomorrow. Why do today what you can stress about in full-blown panic mode tomorrow? Nothing motivates you like an impending deadline and the existential dread of realizing you've spent more time picking out a Spotify playlist than actually doing work. I've done so much urgent research on YouTube that I could write a thesis on cat videos. Seriously. If procrastination were an Olympic sport, I'd win next week. No rush. Honestly though, I'm not procrastinating. I'm giving my tasks space to realize they're not that important. Maybe if I ignore them long enough, they'll figure out a way to handle themselves. After all, some people dream of success, while I dream of that five-minute break turning into a full-blown Netflix marathon. In the end, procrastination is like a credit card. Enjoy it now, but trust me, the bill comes due at 3 a.m. when you're lying there wondering why you thought cleaning your sock drawer was a good idea instead of doing that thing you were supposed to do. But hey, I'll deal with it tomorrow.